First tape for mushroom blading three. Oh shit, I got a thing on. Anything to say? Mushroom blading three. We haven't uh, done any tricks yet, but that shit's gonna be hot. <laughs> Those ones are sick, but you're pointing up too much. We already got a good one. Leon wants another picture. Okay. But get, get the other one. Okay. Bobby? Where's Bobby? Yeah. Bobby's got Bobby. Who's? What do you call that? So um, the eccentrinator. The pantole. Look, he has a, the, the diddle my pantole. <sighs> Trying to do tricks when your glasses are. Fogged up, it's a little bit more difficult, so just let me try it a couple more times, okay? Okay?
was an accident. Accidental. Uh, desire to express oneself. Uh, obsessive. Like we all are, we're all obsessive. I am. Uh, and we all, uh, I think we're going for a way of saying something that might be different than uh, the normal, conventional, boring way of saying something that most people like in an audience because they are, uh, uh, they are dull in their own lives. My God. It's true. Uh, it's true. Nobody's going to go to the picture. So what? <laughs> Let them not go. The world is going to comprised of, uh, of a group of people that uh, uh, have opinions and, and, and lack emotion. And we make pictures of emotion. And uh, if people go to see them, they will, they will become touched emotional in ways that they have never experienced before. And uh, they want to, they go. They don't want to. have to say uh, ball sack is the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> Geez, you filming the whole video down there or what? <laughs> it's like this, see? Sometimes things look like they don't have any order, and then from a different level, you realize that it does have order. It's like climbing a mountain. Look around, you see trees and rocks and bushes pressing around you. Then you get up on the tree line and you see everything you just went through and it all like comes together. You know, you see that it has a shape after all.
street, you know? Trying to jump off the soul is like weird. So like, trying to jump off the soul is like weird. I'm so sorry, Joey. I'm so sorry. Trust me, it'll be good. surrounds us all the time, but which is not normally accessible to our senses, is admitted in. Uh, they, they share, they share the same imagery because they're literally done in the same place, and that we therefore may be dealing with parallel universes. I'm in. I have my, uh, my admission bracelet, and, uh... <laughs> Remember, no resistance. No resistance. And all love. All, all love. <laughs> I'm going where it takes me. <laughs> I can keep my head inside. That one felt cool. I like that. <laughs> That's almost better if I don't get it. This 
like the only angle you can see that ledge and that ledge really well. So just a steel shot like that would be sick. Because my interests are actually my work. And in so many ways, any interest that I have can become a part of my work. Like a, a few months ago, I bought a pair of skates and just fancy learning how to roller skate. And uh, we're going to have a roller skating section in the video. I think in a way that's the wonderful thing about art, like music, dancing, that sort of thing. Everything you do can then become your work. You know, like if you're cleaning up one night, you might suddenly realise what a great routine it would make with a broom. And a, you know, it's just keeping your mind open for all these things. It's, it's really fun. Life becomes work. <laughs> Ultra drive. <laughs> It'll be super salad, but I'm having to squash really hard. One very hot summer's day. When I thought I'd lay myself down to rest in a big field and skating of tall is like grass. really bizarre to me right now. Is it? I, I lay there it. in the sun and felt my it resting my face. My, I fell asleep what I was trying to accomplish with my tricks. and dreamed. My goals have totally realigned. <laughs> I dreamed I was in a Hollywood movie. That I was the star. This really blew my mind. The fact that me, an overfed, long haired, keeping known, should be the star of a Hollywood movie. Mm. There I was. It's really exciting. It's almost like a, a completely different activity. How so? Just my attitude towards it. It's like it's really difficult to be filmed right now. Naked to the world. Whenever I go to do it, I'm like, why am I like putting effort into doing this? And I always do it. There was long ones, tall ones, short ones, brown ones, black ones, brown ones, big ones. I wanted to reiterate that it's really distracting how windy it is. Out of the middle. I can just film you, I'll take my kids off and film you. She whispered in my ear. No, I I, I want to film you as well. You're doing amazing shit. Wow. I going crazy? It's challenging. Or is this just a dream? But I'm enjoying it. I'm now wait a minute, I know I'm lying in a field of grass with. somewhere. So it's all in my head. A little bit frightening. And then, but interesting. I heard her say, oh. <laughs> Spread legs out. 
That's hard, it's hard to scale this stuff, it's really slippery. things the first try. If you can't do the first try, do it the second try. Don't do things over and over. That's not fun. That sucks. Do, don't do it. Ow. That hurt. Oh. So bad from a tanning bed. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, it's coming back to me. What did I do? folks worry about being original or, and that's crazy because we're all already original. We're all we're one of a kind. Every individual is uniquely themselves. We were born in a particular moment, particular genetic makeup, living in a particular land, in a particular cultural time with talents and abilities and aversions, things that we're not good at, things that are easy for us, things that we love, things that draw us, needs for security and love and, and uh, all, all the human stuff. And you think, why not follow some of those things that we feel deeply about, passionately? And it's not so much about, well, what career should you suggest uh, or follow, as much as uh, listening to the voices that we have about what we ought to do or not do, and listening harder to some of the ones that are about the things we really care about. Uh, what matters? I have a, a paperweight that says, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? What would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? There's, I think we all have things that matter. And part to me of the message of improvising is um, do those things. Thanks for coming down. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Good tricks.
There's a... Down the street, down Canadian the street. Tire. Find some stuff to, to blade. I really like rollerblading. It's really fun. I really, really like it. Do you have the feeling that our tricks are really mediocre right now? Yeah. But it's still really fun. It's just not as athletic as we're out of shape, but it's still interesting. Yeah? That was good? Oh, fuck. You're still angry with this son of a gun. I hated that picture. I hated it. I hated it. But, uh, you know, ten years later, you remember it. And you think, I saw something. Being able to point my toes and getting into more, like, human body positions Feels good. with the REMS, but it hurt my good. feet. Oh, I think skin. filmmakers... Then. It's not worth it, to so be aware back that in the, they don't know like casts where they can find my body movements, but they're comfortable. <laughs> and skating in, in a more primal technology like this. How long do you think this is going to go on for? What? The skate crisis. Probably forever. It never ends. It's all about feeling good. Don't, if you're not, if you're not having fun, you're not feeling good. You're just like, you're just getting good lately. Yeah, but I was hiding my frustration. I was having fun, but I was not A really clean place. We sanitized it before we started doing this. We're, we're assured that the ground is clean before we try this. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you were going to come out there. Fuck! I wasn't sure. I'm going to come out on this side. Yeah. For sure. It's like, come on. Yeah.
myself, is this really weak? Oh. I didn't have one of those uh, old school falls where you don't know how to go <laughs> People give me a hard time for doing Mises all the time. But this is one instance, like, what other grind am I gonna do? I have to go into a fakie one foot from it, like, and jump from that foot. So I need control. It's gotta be a Mizu, I'm sorry. It's, go it's gonna be a Mizu, whether you like it or not. I think your insecurities are trapping you about Mizus. Do all the Mizus you want. Yeah. You're gonna fucking like it. When you want it so bad Maybe it's not Um but you can't get it right away I'm just trying to remember you try it again Stalls Stalls, yes By the, like I was just saying that I'm kind of ashamed to be doing this trick because it It's basically a series of stalls And I think stalls are like pretty lame but Um, when you link stalls together It's really sick like if you do a whole bunch of stalls like fluidly and you don't you don't stall for too long it's like a it's like a very quick stall then they're not really stalls you're not balancing your weight on what you're on you're just on it for a quick second just so you can get to the next thing that you're on Here's what's good. I blew up. 
so we deconstruct ourselves and start anew, breaking free of our own preconceptions of how our life should be. And it's a kind of leaping within sort of concept. And I, I loved it when it just, we simply can't fake it anymore. So can we please speak about that. I think that's the meaning behind the modern midlife crisis. That uh, we we build up roles in our lives, and many times those roles are based on other people's expectations of who we should be or how we should be. And sometimes there's a over-identification with those roles.
And it's been said that everything is born twice, first of the imagination and then in the world. So if it can't be imagined, it can't really be born. That's right. And let's go crazy with our imagination, knowing that not every aspect, not everything we imagine is going to happen. But that's how it starts, is, is having the exuberance and, and the freedom to imagine anything. I have a dream that in the new world there'll be a new Bill of Rights and the First Amendment will be your daily wage will be directly tied to how much beauty and truth and love you provide. In the new world, childbirth will be broadcast on primetime TV every night. In the new world, we'll add an 11th commandment to the standard 10, thou shalt not bore God. In the new world, you and I will grow up to be rapturists which are the opposite of terrorists. A rapturist is a tricky saint who steals your pain and drives you insane with joy and pleasure. A rapturist is a brilliant fool who breaks the rules to make you drool with outrageous delight. Right. <laughs> oh dear, right. oh dear. Forget that. <laughs> doesn't want us here. This is his spot. <laughs> <laughs> 